this must be the easiest place in the world to get lost. I'm in the great sea of sand in the Eastern Sahara. Behind me, to the south, wave upon wave of dunes stretch for hundreds of miles. It would be hard to imagine a landscape with fewer features to it. And with temperatures rising to 50 degrees centigrade during the day, getting lost here could be lethal. And yet, this is the home of one of the most remarkable animal travelers. An ant that regularly leaves its home in these sands and sets out on the longest overland journey made by any insect. It's called cataglyphis, and it comes out during the middle of the day when other insects die from heat exhaustion. Cataglyphis searches for these casualties when it's so hot that even it seeks relief from the burning surface when it can. At first, it forages randomly over the sand. But when it finds its exhausted prey, astonishingly, it returns in a dead straight line to its nest. It's so hot in the desert that even Cataglyphis has to get back as quickly as possible to its nest if it's not to risk death. These foraging journeys are equivalent in human terms to a trek of 40 miles over completely featureless territory. And yet the ants, even if they wander about in searching for their food, are able to return directly to their nest. How do they achieve that? Well, have a closer look at one leaving on one of these journeys. It keeps stopping and making a turn. Stop and turn. Stop and turn. As it turns, it looks up at the sun, checking its position. It moves on again and checks the sun and the pattern of polarized light. It can measure the distance between stops and it always takes a bearing on the sun at every one of them. When it eventually finds food, a quick calculation, and it knows exactly the shortest way home. If you can use a beacon that's with you wherever you go, like the sun, then, of course, you're no longer restricted to your familiar home ground. You can venture into unknown territory, you can go long distances to find new feeding grounds. Great journeys are now possible.